Bethesda has proven to the entire world that their incompetence knows no equal. To recap, last year Rage 2 released, but somehow Bethesda forgot to add in the DRM. Fast forward to today, and they've done it again. Doom Eternal launched with a DRM-free executable file in the game. They announced previously that they'll be using the infamous Denuvo DRM to protect day one sales, but in true Bethesda fashion, they sabotaged themselves as usual. And pirates managed to get the game for free on day one without having to lift a finger. Essentially, Bethesda cracked their own game. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> De Novo promises to protect day one sales, despite the fact that there are plenty of games with De Novo that's been cracked on day one. And De Novo has a track record of screwing over legitimate customers by negatively impacting game performance or somehow locking them out of their own game. And to add insult to injury, pirates managed to enjoy a superior version of the game for free. And protecting day one sales is kind of pointless because a lot of people pre-order games without any knowledge on what state the end product will be in. Now, Bethesda did manage to patch the game to fix this, but the DRM-free file is now on the internet and it'll stay there. Now, people have tried to rationalize this entire debacle as something Bethesda intended to happen. The only way Bethesda could have done this intentionally is if they weren't Bethesda to begin with. Theory number one. The DRM-free file will work fine over a few levels then stop working. While this did happen, it turned out to be unrelated driver issues and nothing to do with the DRM free file. Theory number two. There's a rogue developer inside Bethesda that is trying to sabotage the company. Though the problem here is, how did no one else manage to notice the DRM free file? And honestly, do you need to do anything to sabotage Bethesda? They managed to do that on their own just fine. Theory number three. Bethesda wanted to create a situation so that they could justify turning all their future releases into live services. If this was EA or Activision or Ubisoft or anyone else but Bethesda, it'd be believable. Ignoring Rage 2, there's Fallout 76's release and all the crazy nonsense that followed. Like the nylon trash bag, the Nuka Cola dark rum, the leaking of customer information, and let's not forget the power armor helmet that had a fungus growing inside it. Everyone's grown so accustomed to Bethesda screwing themselves over. It would be considered a miracle if they didn't mess up once. It'd be on the front page news and every other news article. And it's only a matter of time till their next screw up. That's my two cents on the matter. And if you like the video, then like, comment and share this video. And if you haven't, subscribe to be notified of any future videos. Thank you for watching.